Hi, welcome to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. My name is Myra, and today's prayer point is praying for breakthrough. I'm sure there are many of you who've been praying specifically for breakthrough in an area of your lives, and maybe you feel like you've been in a place of waiting for the Lord to change your situation. First of all, you need to know this. The Lord has not abandoned you. Psalm 34, 18 says, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Know that the Lord is so near. He is close. Don't believe the voice of the enemy that says you're alone and that the Lord has forgotten about you. No, Jesus hears your prayers and he's closer than you realize. Secondly, as humans, there's always a temptation to look for other options when you don't think God is doing anything. Like Sarah, we get impatient and take matters into our own hands. When the Lord is simply saying, Psalm 4610, be still, be still and know that I am God. I think we focus so much on the being still part and how impossible it is to do that, that we forget or we overlook the and know that I am God. Knowing that He is God is understanding that He is sovereign. Knowing that He is God is surrendering our desire to be in control of our situation. Knowing that He is God is allowing Him to be Lord over our lives and every area of our lives. The secret to knowing is spending time in His Word and seeking Him. Your trust level goes up when you realize how great, how big, and how real God really is. He's not only wise, but He is wisdom. He doesn't just have power, but He holds all power in His hands. Now let's take a look at the first half of that verse that says, be still. We've trained ourselves today to stay busy and do that being still requires much discipline. If I can encourage you today, spend time with Jesus. Turn off your phone, be still in His presence. Ask the Holy Spirit, teach me how to listen and hear you so that I can know that you are who you say you are, that you are God. Lastly, keep believing for your breakthrough. In Mark 6, it says that Jesus was not able to do a miracle except heal a few people in Nazareth, and He was amazed at their unbelief. Unbelief is so powerful because Jesus himself was limited to what he could do because of their unbelief. Keep believing in Jesus. To sum it all up, the Lord has not abandoned you. He hears and sees you. Surrender your time. Be still enough to know him in his presence so that you know that he's God. This way, your level of belief will grow and you will continue to learn how to trust him with your life. Breakthrough is coming and it's found in Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much that trials come with purpose. And God, in the midst of what we walk through, you are there, you are present, you are so near. So for whoever is listening today, God, I just pray that you would give them joy, give them peace, give them strength to know, God, that your Holy Spirit is so near. And God, we wait on your timing. And in the midst of waiting, we don't just sit and do nothing, but we, we are still in your presence, Jesus. And I pray that, Lord, you would give us everything that we need that is found in you and in your word. Ignite a fire in us, Holy Spirit. Consume us with your presence. Let us be the light that you've called us to be, God, and let us continue to hold on and know that breakthrough is coming and it is found in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.